Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hi everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar weakened on Friday as the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, extended its rebound and settled in New York at 105.50. Hopes for a continued US inflation calling has boosted support for a Fed rate cut soon, with officials responding positively to last week's inflation data. Wholesale inflation unexpectedly decreased by 0.2% last month, contrary to the forecasts of 0.1% increase, following a flat consumer price index or the CPI reading for May. Looking ahead, the Reserve Bank of Australia board meeting and updated projections will take centre stage on Tuesday, along with that with today's China's industrial production year-on-year -year and retail sales data. While the RBA is widely expected to maintain its official cash rate at 4.35%, market participants are likely to scrutinise the accompanying statement closely, as the RBA is expected to emphasise on the significance of data dependency in shaping future monetary policy decisions. With the price action dropping into the third consecutive day, the support level is holding around 65.70.80, along with that with the 60-day moving average seen around 65.75. With the MACD relatively low and potentially lacking further decline, could see the market stage a response to a bullish case and rebound from 65.70.80 key level and look back towards 66.5 and on towards 67 cents after stabbing there last week. The euro also continued its decline towards now the crucial support level, while the dollar extends its rally onto 105.5. Looking ahead to this week, the upcoming economic data includes the US core retail sales and also unemployment claims. Towards the region of 106.40.70 area, I feel the market could stage a bounce and furthermore see an upside test back towards 108 to 109 and reassess from there. The dollar yen ended the week higher, touching 158, driven by the market reaction of the Bank of Japan's interest rate decision. As anticipated, the BOJ maintains its overnight interest rate at 0 to 0.1%. Additionally, the bank announced plans to provide details on its bond tapering strategy in July. Following Wednesday's positive inflation report, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell held his customary press conference after the FMC decision which added to markets' uncertainty. Powell cautioned against overreacting to single data points as the central bank kept its interest rate steady at 23-year high between 5.25 and 5.5. Looking in the common pattern, you can see the market is somewhat uncertain as it heads higher around that 157 region and overall the market could still stage a significant downturn. With the support level coming in at 156.95 minor, the next level is at 156.45 to 155.5. Viewing the top side, the resistance comes in at 157.65. Sterling traders should brace for a very volatile week with key events including the UK inflation and also the Bank of England's rate decision. The latest UK consumer price data is scheduled for release on Wednesday, with a forecast expecting the headline inflation rate to remain around 2% compared to the previous month of 2.3%. Following the release, looking ahead, the Super Thursday brings Bank of England's monetary policy decision, and that so far is expected to maintain its interest rates at 5.25%. However, if inflation trends lower, there could be speculation about a 25 base point rate cut in the market. With that being said, the Monetary Policy Committee, the MPC, official bank rate votes are expected to reflect a 0-2-7 view on any rate adjustments. So turning to the tentacles, we can see the support levels around 126.40 and while intact, could see a bounce and look back towards 127 to 128 where we did stab up there. Overall though, I feel the bullishness should come back and eventually maintain its broader call that is, towards the region of 130 to 131. Finishing up with commodities, we can see that gold has bounced and now struggling once again around the 2,325 area. I feel a little response to the upside could continue on, and therefore could see another down test and look back towards the bottom side of 2,300 and with the broader call towards 2,257. 
Troubling into its fourth consecutive day, the oil market has maintained in a sideways pattern and therefore could eventually see another up test. I'm not going to get too bearish because I still feel technically there is potential towards a target of around $79 a barrel. And while the support holds around $76.80.90, could eventually see that topside challenge before profit taking comes back into play and then see another downturn back towards the support area anywhere of $76 or maybe down to $74. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out at the intraday pool. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new week.